This is Dr. David Ginsberg, chiropractor in Geneva, Illinois, and today we're talking about why people get back pain and what you can do about it right now and also in the future. Most people think, well, chiropractic's only for back pain, right? Well, if your spine goes out of alignment, it affects the nerves that go to every single cell, tissue, and organ in your body. And therefore, chiropractic is actually good for a lot more than just lower back pain. But let's get back to the back pain as the key problem. The most common cause is what we call a subluxation. This is a term that we describe when a vertebra goes out of its normal position. Like a row of falling dominoes that suddenly stops, so does the joint movement uh, at the place where the bones are out of alignment. When this happens, you have a spinal subluxation. And three things will typically occur. Three negative things. The first is that nerve flow will drop. Realize that 10 millimeters of mercury pressure on a spinal nerve, this is about the weight of a quarter on the back of your hand, that little pressure for five minutes will decrease a nerve's function by up to 40%. So that means that that nerve, if it's say going to your lungs or your heart, is only transmitting 60% of the signals. Obviously you want 100% all of the time. So the first thing that happens, as I said, that's not good when you have a subluxation is that you lose nerve flow. Second, you ever hear of something called arthritis? Well, when you lose movement in that part of the spine that subluxates, or you have abnormal movement, you get typically excess wear and tear around there, and that's the degenerative arthritis process. And that leads to the third thing, which is permanent change or permanent damage. The bones change shape, you develop spurs, the holes where the nerves come out narrow, and sometimes it compresses on the nerve to such an extent that the nerve cell actually dies. And once a nerve cell dies, that's it. It's dead forever, and it can't be fixed. So is a subluxation that something that you need to worry about? Well, obviously, in fact, it is. It can be a very serious health condition. Many patients will ask me, doctor, well, doesn't everyone have a crooked spine? Isn't that normal? Well, no, it's not normal. It might be very common, but it's not normal. When we get a new patient who comes in, we'll typically do an exam and take an x-ray, and we can show them where the spine misaligns and how it's caused problems in different areas and how long almost that it's been there. We can compare their x-rays with x-rays of a spine that looks normal. And you can see that if you have nerve function or nerve pressure associated with any of those areas of subluxations, you're typically going to have some lower back pain. But it can also cause other problems in the body. So why is it that a human's body is so prone to having lower back pain? Well, one reason may be that most animals walk on all fours on the planet. But as humans, we're bipeds. We walk on two feet. So because of this, we have gravity constantly exerting its pressure down on us. And the further down we go in the chain, like our lower back, there's more pressure. So that tends to lead to more stress and eventually subluxations and more low back pain. The other reason is things like excess weight gain or pregnancy, past injuries cause us to shift uh, or cause more stress down on the lower back area. And that wear and tear leads to spinal subluxations, which typically will show up as low back pain. So why are adjustments typically needed to correct back problems? Well, as we stated earlier, this is something that uh, causes a lot of confusion in the population. When you have a subluxation or a misalignment, obviously it needs to be corrected. When we be begin adjusting a patient, typically they will feel better in a very short period of time. Sometimes one or two adjustments, sometimes it's three or four weeks. But usually within that time they feel a little better. And oftentimes they'll think, hey, my back pain's gone, I must be okay. Well, that's an incorrect assumption because typically pain is the last thing to show up and the first to go away. And unfortunately, we are so bombarded with television commercials, radio, print media, advertising this pain reliever and that quick pain fix, um, that people have come to believe that if their pain is gone, 
they must be okay 100% or their problem's gone. But in reality, pain is just your body's warning system. Not anything different than when you're driving in your car and the engine light goes on. You wouldn't put a piece of tape over it and keep driving thinking everything was okay. You'd go get it checked. Well, in reality, when you take a pain pill or you put a salve on or, or, or just rest to try to get rid of an ache, you're just covering up the symptoms or you're covering up your body's warning signal. And eventually, if you keep doing that, things are going to break down to the point where those won't work anymore. So chiropractic is different. We actually seek to find the cause of the pain or the cause of the problem. And our cure or our correction is to get rid of the subluxation, which will ultimately get rid of your pain, but in the meantime, it will help to fix the problem. So a couple things that you can do to add years to your life is first, make sure you have a good chiropractor. Because these subluxations can affect your overall health, it's important to make sure, whether you're in pain or not, that your spine is in a line and there's no pressure along the nerves that exit there. If you've started chiropractic care, there's different phases of care. Pain relief care, as it sounds, is aimed at just getting rid of pain relief. And if you choose that, just realize that your problem's probably not fixed and it's gonna come back in a couple weeks maybe a couple months, and if you're lucky, it might be a couple years. Please, please, please make it a priority to seek a chiropractor who will also give you a corrective care program, something designed to correct or stabilize these subluxations so the pain doesn't come right back again. Because this type of care also is your best chance in slowing down or preventing the degenerative process. And once your condition has been stabilized or corrected, there's a third type of care that we call wellness care. This is aimed at keeping you well. Again, getting a periodic checkup, like you go to your dentist every six months to check your teeth, will help to prevent minor subluxations or problems from turning into major pains or major problems. In addition, it will help prevent that excess wear and tear in your spine, which can create nerve pressure going to all the different organs and cells of your body. So, as you can see, chiropractic is not just for lower back pain, and making sure you find a good chiropractor and sticking with